Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make a block from this quilt, this red and green quilt. It's appropriate for the holidays or any time of year. I especially like green and red quilts. It's from a pattern called Spring Blooms and Blossoms, which is more of a springy color scheme, but I made it with, like I said, red and green. So we're gonna make that main block. It's a 13 inch block. And if you are interested in the pattern, it's in my Etsy shop with the details down below in the description box. So let's get started. After pressing my scraps, I cut my pieces I'm going to need. For this block, I need four three inch red squares. So I'm cutting my four three inch squares here, and then I'm going to need two that are three and a half inches for my half square triangles. I am using four different greens, and for all of my greens, I need two three and a half inch squares and then I'll need three and a half inch squares for the background. So I'll need 10 three and a half inch squares for the background. So there's my three inch squares, and here are all my three and a half inch squares. And the details will be down in the description box. So I've got two, two, and two. And when I'm done, I will have one half square triangle left over from each of those green sets. So I'll have four leftover half square triangles but that's okay because I'll be making more blocks and I can always use leftover half square triangles. This white is kind of interesting. It's got a little bit of a design on it. It's a little bit hard to see the right side, so I had to be careful trying to get those stars to be on the right side. So I'll draw a, a line from corner to corner and I will be sewing on either side of that line to make all of my half square triangles. After sewing on both sides of my pencil line, I pressed all of my half square triangles and then I trimmed them all to three inches. All I have to do now is lay out my block and sew everything together in rows and then put my rows together. As you can see, with each of these sets of green half square triangles, I have one left over that I will set aside and use later in this quilt, or I'll use them in another project.
This is such a beautiful block and when I made the quilt I used all different reds and a lot of different greens to make a beautiful scrappy quilt. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Thank you.